Here's a quick video on how to move the electronics from your original Nintendo Switch dock into the more portable 3D printed dock. Now, before you order or print one of these, you want to make sure that you have a screwdriver that you can actually use to get this open. So you want a small flathead screwdriver that's meant for phone repairs, typically. So we're going to check if this works first by opening this flap here and then we can pull it off these hinges like that. It just snaps off, nothing broke. And so make sure that your screwdriver can unscrew these screws right here. These screws are interesting because they have uh, they have three indents instead of four like a regular Phillips screw. So they're a bit trickier to get out but you can do it just fine with a flathead screwdriver. Once you've made sure that you can actually unscrew these, then you can print or purchase the dock and you'll be able to do all the rest pretty easily. So I'll go through that process. The first thing that you want to do is remove all of these screws here. So there's one in this corner, one right here, one right here, one here, and then on the electronics portion there's these four. So I have actually not put in all of the screws just so that this video goes a lot faster, but I'll show you where all the screws are that you have to remove. At this point, you can pull off this plastic cover, and it might take a little bit of force, but then this comes off, and you can put it to the side. And now, you can start to remove the circuit board, so you pull back these black prongs right here, and then it starts to lift up and now it's easier to remove this ribbon cable here and to do this you have to look at this black bar and pull it up with your fingernail and then the ribbon cable comes free really easily and now I haven't added this back in but there's also another cable and it plugs in right here and it's really easy to get off you just pull it out just like that and that's coming from somewhere in there so once you have the board you can set that off to the side and now we have a bunch more screws to unscrew so there are going to be some inside these recessed holes so you kinda need a longer screwdriver and there are some that are more on the surface like this one right here so again I've only put two of them in but in all of these little holes here you should check if there's a screw in there and once you've gotten them all out, it should really easily come apart. And I'll show you that right now. Here's one screw, and I've placed the other one in here. So now this part should just lift off, and the ribbon cable goes through that hole. And this is what it looks like. And now you have this assembly right here. So this part's a little bit tricky because springs are involved, but what we're going to do is unscrew these four screws in here. So you can see one, two, three, four. Again, I've only left two of them in. Oh, and this part comes off apparently. That makes things easier. And there's the other one. So now this part is a little bit tricky. So at this point you're holding this spring assembly right here. You have to make sure that both springs are still in there. And if you haven't managed to take it off totally intact, then you should find the springs and put them back on and then put this black piece on so that the opening right here lines up with where the ribbon cable goes. And now we're going to line up the ribbon cable with the front of the 3D printed dock. So the ribbon cable is facing to where the logo is. And then you can start to slide it in right here. And so you can see that this black piece goes through the square hole right there and then this, this should sort of line up so that you can put the screws in. 
So I'll do that right now. For this part, you also want to use the same exact screws that were originally attached to this piece. So there's one screw. And for the sake of making this video quick, again, I'm only going to put two screws in there. So now you can see this is firmly in place and it works perfectly. Now we're going to put the electronics in. So what you first want to do is get these two USB ports lined up with the square hole right here. And you want all the connectors to be at the bottom. So it slides in like that. And then you do have to push a little bit to get everything else in, but it snaps right in place and you can see the connectors are perfectly lined up. So now we just put the screws into the five different screw holes. Then you just need to screw in the board through four of these screw holes. There are five different holes, but four is perfectly adequate. Also, it's worth noting that at this point you should be really careful with your screwdriver and make sure that you don't scratch the circuit board at all. So once you've gotten in all four screws, and I've only put in two, then you can connect this ribbon cable back up with the main board. So what you want to do is pull it out this way and then make a little crease right here and push it in under the board just like that. And now you can make sure to lift this part of the ribbon cable connector and then slide in the blue part of the ribbon cable and push it back down. So now that that's in, we can put the back cover on. So we make sure to line up the holes and then you can put in whatever type of screw you want. If you have a black one, I suggest using the black screws that we took out of the outside of the case. But I'm going to use the silver screws for now. Once the screw is in properly, it should be flush with the back of the case. Now there's a screw here, right under here, which you should use a short screw for to make it easier, and right here. Then there are just two more screws at the bottom. So once the screws are in, your dock is ready for use. The last step though, is to take a couple of the feet off of the original switch dock and put them onto the portable dock. This way it won't slide around on your table. You can just pry one of the rubber feet up with your fingernail and then attach it to the bottom of the dock. Here's what the dock looks like on the inside with all the screws inserted. Here's what it looks like with all the screws added to the outside and with the rubber feet attached. So thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions.